so our genetically I, modified bodies. Uh, I'm gonna push the button and, and do the little nom noms for my buddy here. My little uh, Digimon, digital monster, Digimons have more power. Um, I'm gonna level up that. That's gonna give me some stuff, which is good because I spent a lot of stuff. And then they get their nom noms. I'm just curious to see at what point. Look, I mean, it just it looks like it just keeps being like, just you know, just I make it rain these little. Meaty balls. That's that's not that's not how I want that to come out. But okay, whatever. Um, but I did actually apparently kill somebody in one of my builds, so I'm gonna go check that out. They told me to do that. Uh, I don't know how. Oh, I actually got some kills. I got I got three kills on this one. I got two kills on this one, and then all of them have diamonds on them, and I have no idea what that means. Um, I think this was this my first one, Latonia. I think that was my first one. I, th yeah. I think. I can't remember. Yeah, no, Slinger is my most recent. So what's it say? It says raid attempts two. That's an extra one. I've killed two raiders. And my kill ratio is that. Somebody, and again, they didn't, the person who, I think, like the first person who did it, I think they gave it both a brutal and an ingenious uh, like, rate. I don't think you have to rate. I think I've just been rating things just because. I don't see why not. Like, unless it just totally sucks. Uh, you know, if I had fun. If I didn't like it at all, I guess. But I didn't know I couldn't not rate it. I think I thought I had to. Um, but I'm pretty close to... It... I don't know when it runs out. I've got a while. Um, but I've already got... it. Outpost to prestige level. I think prestige means that I can, like, re I can like give it another whatever time. I I'll, I'm gonna see how that plays out, but I do want to check this out. I don't know if I have to look in the build mode. I guess I'm gonna see, uh, just to see if I can see what it looks like when I kill people because I haven't killed anybody yet, and now I've killed like five people or something, and. Each one I did with a different way. Like, this one was my first one, if I recall correctly. And I didn't really... Like, I was just like, let's try to make this work, you know? So, I'm gonna go float around and... So, one died here. Float down. Killed by Enforcer. So, how do I see it? How do I watch it? How do I look at it? Like, do I click it? How do I do that? I don't want to be in build menu. I want to I wanna look at the thing. What just happened? What did I do? I just blocks. I don't I don't wanna do that. Just go to, just go to this, just like Well I guess I'm gonna pick those up to So my enforcer here must have killed it. But it, I guess maybe you don't get to see what happened? I thought you got to see what happened. Well, apparently that doesn't seem to be the case. I guess you just get to see what, who, what, what did it. This one was the impaler, which came from the ceiling. So there's that. I was hoping I got to actually watch them die... I thought that's how that worked. Like, what is that? Like, I want to see exactly what happened. Like, I want to actually understand it. So I killed somebody named Webertron. 
And then I killed another, and then I killed Weber Tom again. But it doesn't seem like it tells me what I thought it would tell me. Oh, they went away! No! Okay, fuck. Show me all. Okay, came back. But I don't seem to have any ability to... Look at it. Like... I want to understand why they died. Like, I want to see it. Like, I thought that was an option. But apparently they tried to hop up here and they didn't, or this guy. It looks like they, they died here, trying to be like, oh, well, there's traps down there. And that guy was hidden because it, I mean, it seems like if, if this guy killed him over here, he would have had the thing over here. It's not that this guy killed him. It's, it's that this is where they died. Like, he, uh, he walked here and then stabbies. And then everybody else is all done fine. That might have been involved. Okay, well, I guess there's that. Outpost Prestige. Killing raiders and receiving accolades rewards you with prestige points. With enough prestige points, your outpost will remain active for a longer time. This means you'll extract more gen mat and kill more raiders. So basically, the better your thing is, the going. Um, cool. You know, it's, it's active. Um, I still have 15 hours and 50 minutes, apparently, on it, which, cool, but that didn't show me, what about this, what's prestige? Uh, build capacity 175, XP 725, I'm at 60 out of 30 prestige points, kill raiders and gain accolades to, it, well, shouldn't I be good? Oh, I need to kill, like, three more raiders? I'm confused. I don't understand why those things are different. Like, there's like a meter. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what that means. Like, obviously I killed some people. And some people, like, you know, raided my stuff. Prestige your outpost, reactivate it, and refill it at Gen Map Pool. Okay, well, I don't know. We'll see how that works out. It says 60 out of 30, but it seems like I also have to pay to do that. And that would use up most of my stuff, and I don't want to do that. So let's just see how that... that let's just, just exit this outpost and see how that works. I, kill, I got two kills from the same person, I think. I'm going to try to look it up real quick and just see if there's like a way I can actually watch when somebody dies. Because that's what I thought. Like I talked to a person and they specifically said, hey, sorry about that last trap. And then they said stuff that seemed to make it like our conversation seemed to indicate that they got to watch me die. Like they got to watch my playthrough. And it was just video, but they still got to see it. And I'm just like, I want to understand. So I'm going to end this and see if I can figure things out.